So today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to narrate my thoughts on safety in New York City while I'm riding through to Manhattan. And coming up here, it's a very dangerous intersection, Queens Boulevard and Stillman Avenue. It's always blocked, it's hard to see. So what I like to do here is get off my bike, get onto the curb, and wait for the light. It's the safest way to cross the street when it's this back up like this. You could cycle through here, but that would mean risking a lot of uh, tense moments. dangerous this road surface here is all milled up drivers can't get traction so this right turn coming onto Queens Boulevard is very tough now this is the bike lane on Queens Boulevard going over the bridge and for the most part it's pretty good you just gotta make sure that no one's behind these pillars here because there have been times where someone's just leaning their back against it and comes to the left a little bit so just want to be prepared there's also a lot of debris on this bikeway a lot of loose cups and tissues and bottles the city does clean it from time to time but it really should be done a lot more frequently or at least put some litter bins on the bridge or at either end so people have places to throw them out instead of just putting it to the side like this. Now right here is a dangerous hole right in the bike lane. It's caused by I think a utility uh, utility cover that was improperly installed. And here I gotta be careful because everybody is going towards the bridge. Sometimes they're not paying attention. This intersection here frequently gets blocked, but doesn't seem like the case today. It's pretty smooth sailing through what I've normally experienced. Here, I have to yield to people crossing, so she's fine. And now I'm on the bike path towards the Queensboro Bridge. This bikeway is pretty much safe. Just gotta be a little bit careful here with people on the side here they may come out to cross the street and they have signs I have to yield so it's not that much of a big issue occasionally cyclists will like to come into this lane in order to pass another one but it doesn't happen too often Now I need to make a left. The left side's a cyclist, right side's a crosswalk for the pedestrian. Now here's a little bit interesting because the right side is for pedestrians and the left side is for cyclists. But it's very narrow for cyclists safety as you can see here. The downhill people, you have to clear the lane with them. And again, with the subway noise, it makes it very hard to oh. What I do like to do frequently is simply ride into the pedestrian lane, even though it's technically illegal, 
but at least I'm not in hindering anyone's right of way. If there is a pedestrian on the other side, then I'll move over to the left. But at least there's more buffer room for these people going downhill that I don't crash into them. Now I'm gonna move over to the left. Otherwise, if I'm in the same lane, it's a little bit uncomfortable if I do people that have to come in the same lane. Generally, 
better to let them know with a bell or a shout on your left. That's what I did back there. Here's where it gets a little bit tricky because it's a sharp downhill and it's a blind corner here. Sometimes there's some people coming up. We can see them. But in this case, I cleared and there's nobody in the pedestrian lane. So it's better to just take the whole lane and go down. It's narrow enough as it is and you don't want to make it more dangerous for anybody else. If there was someone here, I'd have to slow up and be more proactive and yield to people who do have the right of way. Now here's a corner which I don't like. I make sure I slow down completely so people have time to react, use the horn. And that's how it's done. Now pigeons are another nuisance to safety. They can blind your view, they can poop on you. Be careful to stay away from them too. Here's a red light, I gotta stop. There's people who've gotten tickets here. And that person obviously did not yield to the right of way to the pedestrian crossing. Even though both had a green light, the pedestrian had priority because she was in the crosswalk for crossing. So shame on that cyclist. And now I'm heading downtown towards 59th Street, which I'm gonna make a, left, a right on. Here's another red light. I have to stop. There's a lot of cyclists who go down the wrong way this way and it's a very bad practice for anybody. So the light's turning. Now I have to make a right and yield to people in the crosswalk. That's how it is. Alright, so the bike lane's in the middle of the street, so I need to stay here. The city designed it this way because on the right hand side everybody makes a right turn to get onto the bridge. So this way it avoids that conflict, even though it may seem uh, counterintuitive. Now this is a safety hazard over here with the edge here. The barrier is coming into the bike lane. Although not that much, but it's still dangerous. Gotta be careful. Here's another very, very dangerous intersection. Legally, you can only make a left here when the light's green, but most of the time it's better to get off your bike and jaywalk across because the city never enforces it. Because when the green light happens, everybody goes straight and you can't make a left. And here, there's a vehicle in the bike lane. I gotta take the lane, go around them. Probably some emergency issue, so we can't really fault them. Now here, you gotta make sure the front vehicle sees you where you are, so it can anticipate your movements. Riding in Manhattan is always very dangerous. You gotta be careful of everything. You've got people coming off the curb, you've got dogs standing in the bike lane, you got birds, you've got people blocking the box like this. So in this case, you have to wait until I can safely go. And right now they're stopped, so I can just go around them. If you go anytime before that, that's too dangerous in my book. You gotta be really careful of everything. I got a mirror to see behind me. I've got a blinking red light. I've also got a front light. Now here, these cars are supposed to yield to the bicycles because of that yield signal and also the sign that says they must yield the pedestrian. And here, you gotta be careful because there's a guy in the bike lane with his phone out. Technically not in the bike lane, but it's the buffer lane. It's still, still equally as dangerous because you don't know when they'll pop out. Now they're supposed to yield to me, but I gotta make sure they see me. Alright, 
So I cross the intersection on a green so I can go. You don't know what people are going to do here, so it's better to be extra safe than sorry. tricky intersection because people make a left here. There's a puddle there, don't want to get too close to the curb. Wet tires don't make very good traction. And here, the bike lane shifts from being curbside to a shared lane, so I have to take it. This is often very dangerous, so it's better to ride right in the middle so people see you to be too aggressive here. So the bike lane here goes right down the middle and this is heading towards the Holland Tunnel. So now I'm moving to the left because it's safe to. These people are pretty much stopped. Of course, you can wait behind the cars, but then you'll be waiting a lot longer than what you're supposed to. Now here there's a lot of traffic, so I want to get out to the travel lane, make sure these people see me. Everybody is going on to these two lanes because they're the only ways to get into the tunnel. You can't get in from the right side. So 
here's where you gotta be very very careful here passing these cars splitting down the middle is better than splitting towards the curb because it's less likely someone will open the door You gotta be very, very weary of passing these people, especially when the spaces are getting really, really tight. And these metal plates, they're very, very dangerous when they're wet. There's a lot of traffic here. This happens every day during rush hour. So here's the truck and there's a lot of traffic so the gap is too narrow so I'd rather just take the sidewalk here and walk because it will be much faster than trying to wait out that. There's a lot of utility work here too so. So here I got back on the street and I see it's pretty much clear. And now I'm moving towards the front. I'm not sure if this person is making a left or not. They don't have their signal on, so I assume they're not. But let's see. So yeah, very dangerous. I'm getting off my bike and taking the sidewalk because it's much safer than going through there. This madness clears up about three blocks down so it's not too much of a detour you have to walk your bike a few extra blocks of course you can go over to the right side but that's not the bike lane technically I can but I'd rather go this way because I want to be on this side of the street well, this is all said and done. So here, there's no light for the pedestrian. There's only one on the far side of the street. So even as a pedestrian, you gotta be careful. There's a yield to pedestrian crosswalk sign, so these drivers should know what to expect. Plus, they have the traffic police there. Emergency vehicle. Now it's a green light and we can cross, but traffic police didn't do their job. So now I have to wait it out. Or let the driver let me go, which also works. So now that we're past all that madness, I can get on my bicycle. Now the city really needs to redo these bike lane markers because they're so faded, you don't even know they're there. <laughs> and this is a left turn only lane, but also a bike lane that goes straight and these cars are all making left so I'm gonna go to the outside of them and this car I guess is going straight making a left it's making a wide left so and get into the bike lane it's a lot of construction there so be very very careful I think they're replacing water mains so here's a red light, no cars, well there's one, but I'm crossing the street now because it's not legal to ride through on a bicycle, but the city never enforces jaywalking or very seldomly does, so I'll just get off and walk my bike.
was a red light, but I could have waited instead of taking, getting off my bike and walking across. Here's another left turn bank, uh, bank mixing zone. These vehicles are supposed to yield, but make sure the person behind you or in front of you sees you before you proceed straight. Even though you have the right of way, you don't want to be under the wheels of a car, a turning vehicle. So it gets really busy here right by this apartment complex. There's a crosswalk mid-block. Now these people are on the side of the buffer zone. Be very weary of that. Yellow light. Another mixing zone, I'm looking in my mirror. It's clear, but it's a red light, so I have to stop. I'll get off my bike and see if it's okay to cross the street on foot. And there's a green light for this woman, but I don't know why she's not going. Looks like I will not be able to cross in time, so I can get on. Looks like there's some loose traffic cones on the side there, and I'm going to make a pit stop to get rid of these. Looks like it's holding something up straight and it's across the road, so I'd rather not touch it if that's the case, but this one I can. Do a little helpful thing for society, you know? That way it's out of the way. So the traffic cone doesn't do any good for anybody. Now this person in front of me has earphones in both ears. And that's never, never a good idea to do in the city. You can't listen to anything that's going on around you. Looks like it's clear to cross. I'm clear the intersection, now I can get back on my bike. Now this is a very busy intersection, 23rd Street. People make lefts here all the time. And right now I see intersection blocked. These cars have a red light, so it's okay to go. There's a pothole there on 23rd and 2nd. I'll report it later. Potholes are equally as dangerous as vehicles if you can't see them. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky because you have the NYPD truck here blocking the view and it's very very close to the curb and takes up I think pretty much the entire buffer zone yeah these barricades also extend into the bike lane so if you're not careful you can easily trip on one of their feet and this is also a left turn lane people can't see you making less because you're hidden behind all these vehicles that are parked in the buffer.
it's a red light. So it's fine and it's clear now. Yep, it's clear. Now we got some styrofoam here and also a storm sewer grate. These are very hard to spot. A lot of times they're sunken in. Something in storm sewer break. Now this woman's looking at her back, so we just gotta give her a little bit more anticipation. Here's a mid-block crossing, so just be a little alert. It should be. You also have to be careful of people riding up the sides of you without letting you know. These people are in the buffer zone and it looks like they know where we are so it's fine. And here's the left turning lane. We have a light here so I would highly suggest not to go through. on the curb but not looking my way so it's better to let her know that I'm coming with a belt. Now that person with the electric bike has made a left in front of all these guys. Not a safe thing to do. Here these sewer grades gotta be careful as well as some uh, uneven pavement. This dog here might step off so we have lots of room bike lane shifts to the right here. A lot of times people walk here because they think it's a sidewalk and I don't blame them because it's not really marked too well. There's no paint or anything. It's just a sign that shows bikes you got to go here for the bike lane. Now there's a left turning vehicle. All right, they yield to that cyclist. This person's already in the intersection so I need to go behind them, not try to ram my way through. This FedEx truck, you don't know who's behind it. And I have to wait. person on a city bike up there has headphones in both ears for oh, earphone pads and, and this one also so real shame on them now this woman here is on her phone may not know what's going on so light tap of the bell works pretty well this person's already in the intersection so Better to just go around. There's a tree branch here that's falling over. It's an 
elderly woman here who probably has some kind of medical condition, maybe. So make sure you give her a lot of space. Another left turn vehicle. I'm going to take this lane here so I'm more aware of the people behind me. I think the road is clear, but it's really hard to tell with these cars parked at an angle like this under this. See if it's better to it's better to listen to music on an external speaker like that rather than having both ears with earbuds in them. Where you're distracted from everything's around you. there in the middle some more, more uneven surface now the bike lane shifts to the right anyway so it's better to just take this lane there's a taxi there that may have merged warrant emergence of mine this is the bike lane not a sidewalk but a lot of people are treated as if one and this person is going the wrong way. Unbelievable. But that's the way it is. I don't get why people ride down the wrong side of the street here. cyclists from cars cutting in too close here's a very very tricky intersection because cars get the left turn lane before cyclists get the straight right now I have the straight signal there's a cop car here planted blocking the crosswalk I don't know what that's about but Hope this for a good reason. This is a two-way bike lane. You gotta be careful of people coming up. Generally, I'd like to pass these people, but gotta make sure there's no one on the other side. Of course, those pedestrians don't look before stepping off the curb. If I passed any earlier, I might have gone right into them. And here I need a sip of water because I've been talking too long. This is 
is another very, very tricky intersection with Delancey Street. Vehicles are allowed to make a right here and some may not be able to judge your speed when you're going straight. Also, these pedestrians may not feel enough time for people going in the bike lane and this person should not be overtaking like that. Those bikes just enter the bike lane at an unauthorized entry point. But it's fine because I saw them. Here in Chinatown, you have to be really careful just due to the sheer volume of people. Again, this is the same situation with Delancey Street. There's cars on the right here. I know this pedestrian just stepped off the curb without looking. There's a car in the buffer zone there. Not really a smart idea. Just to let them know I'm here. Okay. So here, you have to build up enough momentum to get up this hill, but on a single speed it's kind of challenging to do. It's better for me to go on the outside here and then make it left. It's doable, but you really got to stand on top of the gear. Now this is extremely dangerous. There's a blind corner here and it's a two-way bike lane, so you don't know if anybody's coming down the other side. It's better to be heard rather than end up in a head-on collision with someone else because they're too impatient to pass someone. It's also another thing with this bridge. You don't want to pass unless you know you can. It's very dangerous to do so. It's a very narrow path.
kind of areas on the bridge they don't know who's behind these they're partially obstructed by the pillar and the bend there Take it really slow because it's a wide turn. There's sand on the side there. You don't want to be caught, caught in that. is okay with the exception that some people may pop out in between these parked cars obstructed from view it's better than a traditional bike lane but it's more dangerous because of pedestrians coming in and out Made it to Jay and Tilly successfully. 